and welcome to yet another GIS Cloud Mini School Series. Today we will be discussing custom applications. Uh, here with me is uh, Nika. My name is Antonia. Hi, Nika. Hi, guys. Okay, so the purpose of today's session is to show you how easy it is to create custom branded applications with GIS Cloud without any kind of uh, coding experience or yep, yep. being any kind of tech savvy. So let's jump right onto things. We are in our GS Cloud Manager page. You have purchased a Map Portal subscription and you would like to customize it. So you need to go to the application section. This is the place where all the custom work regarding your apps is being done. On top of the Map Portal, you are able to do the same with the Map Editor and Map Viewer as well. Today we will be discussing the Map Portal customization. Map Portal for those of you who don't know, is being used for accessing publicly shared maps. So once the application is installed, you can change the domain into anything that you like, but you will link, need to let us know about it so we can do it for you. Uh, you can see in this example, something.gscloud.com. So you need to let us know and we will change it. Uh, now we will work on our example and we will rename our portal. Um, mm. Mini school. Uh, we will not change the domain for now because we like it as it is. So uh, what I will do now is I will click on the, the domain here and uh, add on to the domain uh, builder part. This is the access point for the app builder um, application and this is where we will do our custom work. So once we are logged in, what I wanted to do initially just to get to the builder is to uh, save the changes so I can actually do some preparation uh, under the manager page. And I wanted to show you the advanced section. By installing the map portal and accessing the builder, all these app options are being created. And first things first, we will like to um, see about the available um, app instance options, so model login box, uh, we would like to um, change it to zero because we don't want to have login because that is not supported with the portal. Uh, then we would like to change the uh, team color. And this is the color of the ribbon. Then same thing is for hovering. I'm having Nika copy pasting this <laughs> for me. <laughs> uh, logo link. This is um, where we actually place our custom logo. Maybe before we, we change the link that will guide us to a website, maybe we can set up the logo. Um, you usually it go to upload, but we already one. have it here in our source browser. So let's just select it. Okay, perfect. Under the advanced, now we will change the link that will guide us. If we click on this logo, okay, and paste and enter. Uh, what else? Have on everything else we can keep as is, Nika, uh, or the model search. search? Search, yeah, also set to zero, zero because yeah. I don't think it's necessary. Okay, uh, the default map ID. It's, it's, we can change it later. Okay, yeah. okay, and let's save it. Okay, so now that we set up these um, basic options, let's see how this looks like. Um, okay, you can immediately see a uh, logo and the color of the ribbon appearing here. So now we will uh, move forward again back to the builder. And what we want to do is we want to uh, set up our uh, maps. First, we will set up the default bicycle infrastructure and safety. Of course, preview button is always available here for you to see before making the changes. Um, not just bicycle infrastructure, but I would like to add additional maps as well. And I do that by clicking on top menu, uh, add new item. For action, we will uh, first use switch map option, choosing the maps, I think roadworks. Yeah, roadworks is good. Um, Nika, right, please assist me <laughs> with the action name. There we go. Add. Then we add additional one for the next map, and this is uh, the, the final, final sidewalk sidewalk conditions. Okay. I will just call it sidewalk. Oh, 
learn how, only know how to write. Yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> okay, and the third one. Yeah. This is again bicycle. our bicycle infrastructure. Even though it's set by default, we need to add this option because then once we do start switching, we will not be able to switch back unless we have this. So uh, currently, let's just show maybe how this looks like in preview. So I have three tabs for three maps and uh, I would like to add additional things here in the ribbon so not to cluster things up. I will have them in a drop down list and for that I will create a new item in the menu called Action JavaScript. Yeah. And we will add uh, we'll just the name, name it Maps. Maps. Okay, add. So what we need to do is we need to make this uh, the mother tab and all other to be uh, placed underneath it and we just pull them on the main one to be yeah. like this and you can of course rearrange them if you like to i think that we are good like this oh yeah it's okay. uh, preview you see immediately the change and our three maps residing under one drop down okay so now let's add some additional things to our portal uh, such as um, export map option. I would like our users to be able to export the map. Um, of course, yeah. make sure. <laughs> yeah, it's not it on the mother button. That's it's right. okay. Um, we also have option of exporting layers. So let's add that one as well. And one additional item that I really like to have is share and embed. This enables you to actually pen and navigate to a specific area of, of the map and then share that specifically to other users. And that's it. And before moving forward, I would definitely like to say what we done just now. And I think that Mika, you can take over now. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, and now I would like to add a panel uh, to this portal. So a panel uh, that would have some general information about it and how to do that. Uh, you can edit the panel section by uh, clicking add new panel and here we can just write the title. For example, Boston in Infra. Infra. <laughs> through infrastructure. Uh, okay, and then write the width and the height. So this is by just defining the, the size of the panel, right? Yeah, the size. And uh, here is the content box. Now, as you can see, you can add uh, many things in, in the content. But in this case, we will choose the HTML text. Uh, so we had our little text pre prepared. Uh, and converted it uh, in an app uh, into HTML text, and I will just paste it here. Uh, it will stay open, but I will also add the close button to the panel. And then let's see how this looks like. Maybe you could preview. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Antonia. Uh, great, now you can see it, uh, but I am a bit bothered by the fact that it is on the right side so I would like to show you how you can uh, actually move it to the middle of the screen. Okay to move uh, this panel to the middle of the screen I will have to go back to our manager and then uh, make some adjustment in the advanced tab. So this is the closer the closer to the coding that we will get actually um, and what we will do we will add a uh, new file here that is named custom.css. So we will add a CSS file. Uh, and in this file, uh, we will add a little part of the code uh, that we prepared. And that part of the code will actually tell the panel to move to the middle. And then we just have to save it. Basically, you don't need to learn this. We have that described in our manual, so you just copy paste yeah. that part of code here. Yeah, you'll get you'll get the code as well. And uh, another thing that's left for me to do is to enter this app.json file, and then add one little section. As 
apply here uh, to the beginning. I'll just click enter so it looks better. And what this little section does, it, it calls on the custom CSS file. And now we can just click save and close it. Uh, then we also close this one and save. And let's see now if the panel is in the middle. Yay, <laughs> perfect. Here we go. Uh, now I would just like to add one more panel and uh, we'll need the builder for it. Uh, this, this panel will actually be sort of a cheat sheet for uh, some of the data that we have uh, here in the table. As you can see, this facility type um, column has some uh, abbreviation values. Yeah, and I would just like to add uh, a document that will explain what what those uh, attributes are. So we write in the name of the panel, then the size like this. And uh, here in the content box, uh, I will now just copy and paste uh, a link that we prepared beforehand and add it. So right now you can see the panel on the right side uh, and what I would just like to do is I would like to add the close button and then turn this option off uh, because I will add um, a button in the top ribbon that will activate the panel and you can do it by accessing the top menu and choose the panel here and just click on add there you go okay so now we will move forward to setting up our filters uh, filters are a great way to enable non-GS personnel to navigate and go through the data that you are actually uh, showing. And first we need to add a filter option into our uh, portal and we will do that by copy pasting uh, the part of the code, of course, that can also be found in our manual. Uh, we, one thing that we need to do is we need to change the panel number because we already have two active panels and this will be our third one. And now we just save. Once this is saved, we need to go to the uh, app builder and we have to delete uh, the, this one first. Uh, just so, yeah, then they can see the filter showing up. Okay, so what we now did, we actually set up the filter panel, but also the filter builder um, that will enable us to actually set up criteria upon which we would like to filter data through. Uh, so we start by giving it a name. It will just be called filter. Filters. Do we need to define the yeah, size? Yeah. That's like this. Uh, this is to decide whether to open immediately or not. And uh, oh, we can just unclick the, the open button. Okay. And we use the GS Cloud filter. Now we click on this. And now we need to define these are all the layers available for us to, to set it up. Existing by network. Yeah. We will yeah, do this one. for and we will do the drop down filter. Uh, on the right we need to uh, select the field that we would uh, like to do this for. And maybe just edit the label so it looks a bit. Yeah and just call it facility type. Okay, we will use the auto fetch value to fetch all the values for us. And yeah, apply. Apply. Now we need to forward this configuration to our app builder. And save. And save. So now if we click on the filters panel, we will be able to see our uh, filter setup. Okay, I think now is a great time for some finishing touches and there is one thing that I would like to change and that is 
the color of this pop-up window. And you can do that by accessing our, again, advanced tab and the folder. Uh, here in the custom CSS folder, you just have to paste uh, another little part of the code that we have in our manual. And I actually uh, put here uh, the explanations of what each color, what each color code does. You don't have to use the code, the hex code, you can write in black like I did in this part. Uh, but there you go. Now when you save it, close this and then open our portal. When you click on a feature, as you can see, the color of this info panel changed. Yeah. Magically. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Okay, so that's pretty much all that we wanted to show you regarding the customization of the map portal. Uh, like we said in the beginning, this customization can also be done for the map editor and the map viewer application. Yeah. Um, Additionally to that, maybe to mention customization or, or branding of the mobile apps is also available. So you can uh, reach out to us uh, if you would like to learn more about that option. And until next time, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it, it might be a bit overwhelming because we actually did enter the code. But uh, as you can see, we prepared uh, all of the code pieces uh, in our manual. It's just a matter, matter yeah. of copy pasting. Yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> promise you, we are not tech savvy. We are not developers. We don't know anything about it. We just learn how to copy paste yeah. at the right place <laughs> certain segments. <laughs> and like we said, all explained in our manual user guide on custom how to customize your yeah. apps. So, but. For any additional assistance, of course, feel free to reach out to us because we love to do customization of our apps. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, guys, well, uh, we'll talk to you soon, I guess. Yeah, take care.